Hi, my name is Karen Chupka. I'm incoming Executive Vice President of Global Connections and Events for the National Association of Broadcasters. Wait a minute. Normally, I talk to Chris. Where's Chris and what are you doing? Well, Chris has been running the show for 25 years, and uh, this is actually going to be his last show. He's decided to retire after this show. We'll still be doing some things in the industry, but I get the huge task of following in his footsteps and trying to continue the the great uh, you know the, the great event that we have here each year called the NAB Show. Well, do you have any experience running trade shows? You know, luckily I do. I spent about 33 years running CES here in Las Vegas, and uh, I actually also got to uh, come to the, the NAB show a few times over the course of, of my career. But um, yes, so there's definitely some crossover with the city experience and also some of the customers that are here as well. So I am very lucky in the fact that at least I know a little bit about trade shows. <laughs> Before we talk about the future, let's talk about this show. What are the statistics? How many exhibitors and how many attendees? NAB show is actually doing very well this year. It's very exciting here on the floor. We have a little over 1,250 exhibitors here this year, which is up from last year. We're expecting about 700,000 square feet of exhibit space, um, about flat with attendance, which is about 65,000, and about 50% of those are first-time attendees. So it's actually a really good, strong show this year. I've been attending NAB for a long time and I'm always surprised at how it evolves from one year to the next. What are your plans for the future? Where are you going to take NAB? You know, the great thing about what's happening now in the industry is the industry continues to evolve. And, you know, I think one of the really big opportunities for this show is to also reach out to the content creation community, the creator economy, which is, you know, as you know, almost a half a billion dollars right now uh, with, with regards to the economy. So I think there's a great opportunity for us to not only use the tools and technologies that we have here for broadcast TV, radio, and television, but also for some of the new creators that are coming in. And that's some of the things that I think will be exciting to grow with the show. Well, does that mean that you're looking at a blending between what CES does and what NAB does? Well, you know what, I think what it is, is there's a blending of what technologies enables content creators to be able to do, right? And some of that means that those tools now can make it easier for people to come into the business and to become great storytellers. And that's what I think the NAB show has an opportunity to really attract in coming years. For people that haven't attended NAB, the show itself, how would you describe it? Well, it's really a great mixture of things. And what I like to say is, this is a great place to come if you're a storyteller. All of the tools and technologies that you need to tell stories, to tell better stories, are here at the NAB Show. And we have the show actually organized in three pillars. There's uh, capitalize, connect, and create. And you know, in, in the create area, we're talking about all everything that you do to, to create your, your video. But then in the connect, it's how we distribute it. And then in a capitalize, it's how to use advertising and how to monetize it more. So it's really soup to nuts, the entire ecosystem for storytellers. As you know, the entire media industry is not only undergoing a lot of change, but is under a lot of pressure, both from a business side and a creative side. What do you see as reasons for hope? Well, I think some of the reasons for hope are what we're seeing here, right? Which is tools to make things more efficient, tools to make things even maybe in some instances cost a little less to produce. And so I think that's some of the interesting things that you could find here at the NAB show. For instance, virtual production, you know, that's, that's not only something that can help with cost and, and logistics of producing something, but it's also a sustainable way of creating new products. And so I think there's a lot of tools here that can help. And I should say just at this show alone, we have 770 sessions and conference programs taking place. Over 140 of them are on AI. So if you want to talk about where the future is, this is definitely where you need to come.